Hello and welcome. How can hate speeches be stopped and what action can the state take to punish people who habitually spew venom against any particular group? Also, why is it that hate speech against one particular community leads to outrage while spreading hatred against some other communities considered privileged by some is thought to be par for the course. All these issues came up in the Supreme Court during hearing of a clutch of petitions demanding a crackdown on hate speeches across the country. The case is being heard by the bench of Justices K.M. Joseph and B.V. Nagaratna. What was also remarkable about the hearing was the way in which Solicitor General Tushar Mehta pushed back against certain remarks made by the bench. When the bench remarked that is the state important that it can't take timely action against hate speech mongers, Tushar Mehta said he can't speak about the states, but the center is certainly not important, adding that PFI has been banned for spreading communal disharmony. Mehta also questioned that why one of the petitioners, who is from Kerala, ignored the incident where, at a Muslim rally, a teenager is seen telling Hindus and Christians to flee the state or start preparing for their own funeral. The SG made repeated requests to the bench to play that video clip, but he wasn't allowed to. The Solicitor General also said that the petitioner should also include a speech by DMK spokesperson who, quoting Periyar, advocated the genocide of Brahmins. When Justice Joseph said that Periyar was a great man and laughed, the SG said it is no laughing matter. Certainly, Periyar was a great man, but does call for genocide against Brahmins not amount to hate speech? Can the court gloss over such statements, he asked the bench. At one point during the hearing, when Justice Joseph apparently referring to one of the hate speeches against the majority community, said it was just a reaction the Solicitor General pushed back, saying the reaction remark could be seen as justification. Advocate Vishnu Jain, who was appearing for some Hindu groups, also mentioned several processions taken out by Muslims in which Sir Tanse Judah calls were given. Sir Tanse Judah refers to beheadings carried out by Muslim extremists for any action or remark they feel is blasphemous towards Islam or the Prophet. Justice Joseph also said that the moment religion is completely separated from politics, hate speeches would stop. When it is made mandatory that no appeal can be made in the name of religion, all this would stop. There is a deep connection between religion and politics. He said, at the end of the hearing, the bench asked Maharashtra government to file a status report on action taken against alleged hate speech by Hindu organizations. It also said that it will deal with other issues on next date of hearing on April 28.